So a couple of days ago, while perusing through YouTube, I saw this. The smallest rocket SSTO ever by Leonardo Bonanno. And I thought, well, I can beat this. So I responded that I will attempt to beat this record myself. And I did. Okay, so I am building the, this is the first of two SSTOs that I will be building. This is the this first one. It utilizes Cal overclocking to n the m to use n to use um, infinite thrust and infinite fuel to get to orbit. However, to make this as light as is actually possible in the game, I had to use only a, the the lightest probe core. And two engines that have and two of the the two lightest engines that have gimbals, because I need gimbals so I can at least have some vestige of control over this craft. And then I need the fuel tank, for the, so there is somewhere where fuel can be stored. And I need the cow controller, so that the it can overclock them. If you don't know what cow overclocking is, it's pretty much where you use the cow controller to. Can, to put the thrust limiter of two engines, one in infinite zero, um, like z no, no um, nothing whatsoever, no um, no, it, it goes to negative um thrust limiter, which then generates fuel, and then you use the other one to give it infinite positive thrust limiter, which gives it infinite positive which gives it just infinite thrust so you can see here i'm just doing that it just becomes two lines that go pretty much super far down and so however this means that when you get you know, put thrust to the middle of the throttle by because you have to tie throttle or tie the oh this is also 0 0.104 pound or t it's 0 0.104 tons or 104 kilograms although on closer inspection of the parts through the Kerbal wiki I found that it actually weighs 103.75 kilograms just for your information so you can see without an, an, any SAS in the probe core or anything or in the and I'm only controlling using the gimbals of the engines it is the worst Thing I have ever controlled in my life and so maybe if I had done this again I would have reversed the engines because it seems to be a bit top heavy so that and its tendency to be upside down so I would probably switch it around because it's very unstable and so pretty much getting to orbit with this thing is just jumps that you get you beyond the high, like to just super like really like plasma speed uh, plasma j making speeds and then just falling out of that and just pr that's pretty much it because i need to get to orbit as fast as possible cuz i if i r lo run out of electric charge then i can no longer control this thing cuz i don't have an external battery on this SSTO, it is only the battery inside the probe core, which is enough to last it about five minutes, unless you're using something like an SAS, which I'm not using. So, and I also hibernation of the probe core helped because I could just hibernate it until I got to apoapsis, at which point I simply went like all, uh, not even all out, because I think, because if I go all out, it's going to instantly give me an escape trajectory out of Kerbin, so I went like maybe a fifth power or maybe two fifths, like a fourth power, but not all out power because that's that's just too crazy and it would like it tears it apart. It like uses it just so many G's that are being just pushed down upon it. Now that I'm on this little um rambling like off spree um would, if you enjoy this content please make sure you're liked and subscribed it helps out a ton it would really mean a lot um 
this took a bit of time, this took a quite a lot of time to perfect the design of this SSDO, so, yeah, if you enjoy this content, consider it. Okay, now, we are getting really close, we got to the apoapsis, and we have, we are circularizing currently, it takes a tiny bit of time, and we are circularized. That is 72, above 72,000 kilometers. The Kármán line is 70,000 kilometers, which means we are in a stable orbit, which means this is the lightest ever SSTO to ever be made in Kerbal Space Program. So, yes. Thank you, thank you. Now we'll just go to a nice cinematic shot of this. Nice. Yeah. So, then... This is the first of two SSTOs. This uses Cal overclocking. However, if you think that is cheating, or if you, yeah, if that you think that's cheating, then I've made a second SSTO that I'm gonna start making now, or around now, yeah, in a bit. I'm going to start making that, and yeah, right now. This is the an SSTO that looks remarkably similar, definitely not, like, copied of Leonardo Bonanno, the person who made the um, challenge for Matt Laun, that it looks remarkably similar to that rocket. And that's because I pretty much, it's a really good idea. It's pretty much the only way that you can get a very efficient and like good, a very light design because those these are the lightest fuel tanks in the game and the Oscar Bs, they store less fuel and they weigh more. Now, yeah, I liked the the idea of the Twitch engine in the middle, but instead, I only put in one engine because um, the one sing the other engine would mean it would mean that I carry less weight, but I still have um, roll control, which I don't have with uh, with only one engine because if it's in the center, it can't roll. So now I'm putting in a nose cone on top, but a smaller nose cone, so I can st store both fuel there and that. And this r weighs around like 1,000, one ton and uh, 1.486 tons or something around that range, I think. Replay window isn't that high resolution. Now we're going to launch, and for both of these launches, if you didn't notice, I'm using the desert launch site, because that is much higher above sea level than the KSC launch site is, so, yeah, with this one, you can see how much less thrust it has than the Cal Overclock ship, as to be expected. Yeah, just to make sure you know, this ship... I made only because if you consider cal overclocking cheating, which I don't because it hasn't been patched out of the game yet, which is what it, if it hasn't been patched out of the game yet, then it's not cheating, okay? It's not cheating. So it's just not cheating, okay? You can't convince me otherwise. So yeah, it's in the game. And it's a valid game mechanic. It's not modded. So it's stock and it's all fair play you know it's all fair play but if you really just refuse to consider uh, that like normal and stock game then this is your normal ssto that works it's um yeah yeah and yeah both of the ssto these ssto's are stock probably indicated by the title of this video and in the description but still it is stock just in case you haven't read either of those possibly um yeah it's stock no mods except visual mods i have been doing runway pro scott manley's runway project recently but i always re uninstall those mods after i create the craft so there's absolutely no mods besides like Kerbal engineer and re-entry plumes and and like stock waterfall effects and that stuff have like stock terrain stuff but yes we are nearly in orbit yes 
We are in orbit! That's me getting excited, because that was me at 10 o'clock and a couple of nights ago just staying up doing this. So I guess that is pretty much the end of the video. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps out a ton, and I will see you in the next video. So, goodbye!